crunchy pork chop with delicious balsamic glazed onions and roasted potatoes. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Today, the best pork chops you have ever eaten. So I'm gonna show you how I season mine. First with some yogurt, thyme, and then I'm gonna add a mix of smoked paprika and chipotle. This is absolutely delicious. And this is how I freeze them. That's why I'm using that little container. I freeze them already seasoned, one next to the other, not on top, so that when I defrost them, they defrost perfectly and quickly. This is an amazing recipe. And the yogurt is what's gonna make it tender and juicy and delicious. Now we're gonna make our crunchy mix. This mix, I usually keep it at hand. It's pecans with dried coconut, that's not sweet, some raisins and some sitar. The pork chops go into the oven at a 375 degree oven or at 350 if it's convection for 20 minutes. For my potatoes that I already had steamed, you can have them steamed or boiled and keep them refrigerated and well covered for up to four days. I'm gonna place some parchment paper on top of my baking pan, olive oil, a pinch of salt and pepper, and rosemary. So you see, we place them with the skin side up because while they start baking, they're gonna absorb all these delicious flavor and that heat from the olive oil that's gonna bubble in the oven. It's beautiful. Halfway through the cooking time, we're gonna turn them around so that the bottom side also gets a little bit golden. The potatoes go in the same oven, but for 10 minutes. Now let's start making our delicious glaze for the onions. It's basically olive oil, balsamic vinegar, a pinch of salt and pepper, and a little bit of honey. We mix it and we are gonna place it on two thinly sliced white onions that I sliced in my mandolin, which is the easiest way to do it. I kept them refrigerated and covered until the moment that I wanted to put them in the oven. So I add all this delicious mixture glaze to my onions and I mix them so they are all filled with flavor. They are gonna go into the same oven. If you open this oven about three times, you should add about five minutes extra cooking time to your pork chops. You don't have to add it if you're using an air fryer or an oven like mine because this one reheats super fast. Check out the beauty of the pork chops. Now we cover them for 10 minutes, turn the potatoes so that they turn golden on the top side and five minutes later, voila, here come those golden delicious potatoes and our onions, they've glazed themselves on their own and you've had to do nothing but put them in the oven. Check out how beautiful this looks. You can add one chop if they're small per person or half a chop. With half a potato and the onions, all you need is an extra salad and you have four meals in no time, in one oven, with delicious food. Enjoy! Chef Pachi.